Hey girls, here's organizing tip number two. And I just finished this today, so I'm very excited to show it. It's my stamp organization. And um, this is going to be a long video, so hold with me. This is a three inch binder, I think. Um, it's pretty big. I mean, and um, this holds pretty much all of my stamps, except for Green Farms, Paper Smooches, and Lawn Fawn. Um, the cover is just a eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock that I embellished a long time ago, um, back when I still had my Cricut. Um, and then on the inside, I have taped. Oh, can't see it. Heavy binder. Ooh, there we go. Inside, I have taped the categories I have in the colors that they're stamped in, and it's held together by washi on the thing with washi tape. Um, my categories are calendar, sentiments, journal spots, images, birthday, love slash V day, Valentine's Day, winter slash Christmas, Halloween slash fall, designs, spring slash Easter, and I'll explain later what I'll do with new categories and new stamps. But first, um, I took a piece of copy paper and a page protector and I stamped all of the stamps that are on like this side of this panel, which these are eight and a half by 11 panel stamp storage sheets that I got, got off of Amazon. Um, but in all of these that are on this side of the panel are stamped on this sheet. So I can, when I'm going through my stamps, if I know what I'm looking for, I can find which sheet this it's on. But also, a lot of the clear ones, you can't really tell what they say or what they are. So this way I can quickly see what I have. Um, and then this side of the page protector is this side of the panel. So this side has all of this. And I try to keep them in as much order as possible. Um, with the sentiments, it was kind of difficult. And then this side is this side, which the top part is the sentiments. And then a new category, which is journal spots. And on the sheet, on the inside the binder, it was written in green. So they are stamped in green inks. Green ink. Um, Cottage Ivy, I think. Um, and then this side, which is images, which are stamped in teal, is right here. And it's pretty much in order. It was easy to keep them in order once the sentiments were done. And then this side's this side. And then you move on to love slash Valentine's Day. Those. And then this side's this one, which is Valentine's Day and birthday, which this was also a really good way to tell me what category I had a ton of stamps in and which ones I need to work on. Which This side's Christmas, which is I stamped in green, which I meant to stamp in blue. Whoops. Oh well. I just realized that. It's alright. It's not a big deal. And some of these stamps are stained now, but that's okay. Um, that and then this side's over here, which I have a lot of Christmas. Um, I have a lot of Halloween, which is Halloween fall, which is right here. And then on this side. And then designs, which is like background stamps and borders that don't really have a theme. Um, like lace and then a Hescon stamp that I can use for a background and then background stamps. And then this one's just my chevron, which is right here. And then my spring and Easter, which is so sad. Look, two, two, so sad. Um, and then calendar, which is more than enough this side and then this side and that's the end of this binder now if I do decide that I need oh um then I have um digital stamps back here that have already been printed um now when I get new stamps um I can I am also buying more panels um if it's a category I already have, I'll add it to a new panel and add that panel to a new book. Because um, that way I don't have to reorganize everything. Um, 
So like, say I get more Valentine's Day stamps. Um, I will just take the entire Valentine's Day, like I'll, I'll just add a new palette panel of Valentine's Day and I'll take it to a new buy binder um, and start a new CAD category. Um, if there's not room, like since there's, um, now if I start a new whole new category, like I'm going to start travel slash summer and that will go in a new binder on a new panel um, and it'll be a whole new thing. That way I just don't have to like move certain stamps to a new panel and with the stamp everything all over again. It'll just be a, a huge hassle. So at, since this binder's done, it'll just be a whole new binder and some categories will duplicate, but it's just gonna be easier that way. Um, now my paper smooches and lawn fawn, for right now, um, it's not gonna stay this way for very much longer, probably just a few months. Um, are in this box that I altered. Um, this side is Lawn Fawn, which starts with the smallest sets, goes up to the second smallest, which is just this one, and then the bigger sets I have here. So, um, and then the opposite side of the box I have paper smooches. That's how I organize those because I these since they are polymer and not acrylic, they hold up a lot longer and they hold up in these sheets a lot longer. So I like keeping them in here. Um, and then my green farm is in this binder, which I had I got at my college, and so it has my college. An issue. Um, they're similar to the other stamps. But instead of stamping them, I just take the panel. You can see that. That comes in the package that has the image already on them and the name of them, and taped it to a piece of copy paper with washi tape. So those four, those three, are right here. I know normally people like trim these out and cut these out. Well, I find that really difficult, and I don't want to ruin them, so I just keep them all together. Um, and then this side are these, and since I got these two used, as you can tell, I don't cut mine up, um, and they weren't in their original package packaging, I just looked up on the website what their name was and just wrote it over here where they are, so I know. Um, and then that's all I have of them right now. Um, cats as you can tell the hairs everywhere but so that's how I organize my stamps um, if you have any questions feel free to private message me or comment um, and I'll see you guys in the next video bye